What's up everyone, there's gonna be a quick tutorial on how to inject DLSS 4 into Final Fantasy 7. This should work on 30 series cards as well as 40 series cards. They gotta be NVIDIA of course. And yeah, it works with Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and it should work with other games as well. Your mileage may vary there, but <laughs> this is a pretty big game right now so we're gonna do it with this one. And you could just follow the same steps or enable it globally to do it with other games as well. So this is not my work first and foremost. This is Leguama's work on Reddit here. So I'm gonna link directly to this Reddit thread in the description and this is where you're gonna grab all the files that you need as well so you're gonna first want to download these DLL files that are linked these are the actual DLSS files if a game uses frame generation you need this DLSS G some games require DLSS D but uh, for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth as well as most other games that are just regular DLSS you're going to need this first one up here so that's really important these are the DLSS 4 files next up you're going to need this NVIDIA profile inspector release which is linked in the Reddit thread as well. So you want to grab this. You just want to download where it says NVIDIA Profile Inspector.zip and then extract that somewhere, of course. And finally, uh, Laguam has made it really easy for everyone. You want to grab this XML file and put it in the same directory that, that you put NVIDIA Profile Inspector. So once you've downloaded NVIDIA Profile Inspector, go ahead and extract it somewhere. As you can see, I've extracted it here. And take that XML file as well, this custom settings names.xml, put it in the same folder. And then, of course, have your DLSS files wherever. Those are going to go in each individual game's directory. So once you have NVIDIA Profile Inspector, go ahead and open it up. You can enable this globally, or you can add a profile. So at the top here, it's going to say Global Driver Profile. That's going to be globally for all games. And you can enable it here, or you can click on this little sun icon, Create New Profile. You're going to be able to type whatever you want to call it, and then select an exe file to correspond it with whichever game that you want alternatively you can click on the down menu here the drop down menu and select a game but not every game is going to be there so once you've selected the profile that you want to use be it the global profile or a profile that you created you want to scroll down until you see dlss 3.1.11 plus force dlss 3.1 blah, blah 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 and you want to click on the drop down menu here and select preset j that's really important to get this to work you could do it globally Again, or you could do it for a specific profile that you added. Once that's done, click on Apply Changes on the top right, and you can close this program completely. Uh, now, a very important part is to take the DLSS DLL file that you downloaded and copy and paste it into the corresponding game folder where that game's DLSS file is located. So a little bit of a mouthful there. But for example, I'm going to go into my Steam Apps folder here where I have some Steam games installed. And then I'm going to navigate to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Engine, Plugins, DLSS, Subset, Binaries, Third Party, Win64, and finally, this is where the DLSS file is located. You want to go ahead and overwrite that with the one that you downloaded. In this case, for Final Fantasy, it's the regular one. It's not the one that has a D or a G. And just to confirm, I can right-click on it here, and you can see that we're running 310.1.0.0. That's the new DLSS 4 file that came with the recent cyberpunk update once you're in game uh final fantasy is a little weird with the dlss i'll just go ahead and launch it and show it real quick i mean it's not weird it's just the naming convention is a little bit different once you're in the settings you want to go to graphics scroll down and make sure dlss is enabled here and then for your dynamic resolution scaling this is going to dictate whether you're using dlaa or regular dlss so if you want to use dlaa you need to have this at 100. if you want to use regular dlss the quality mode is 66 the balance mode is 50 percent and the performance mode is 33 percent so that's it once all that's done you'll be running dlss at four in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and this does work with other games that use DLSS as well, but I'm, I don't have a complete list, so your mileage is going to vary there. Just go ahead and test it out and see how it works out for you. All right, hope that helped. And uh, shout out to everyone in this Reddit thread who figured it out. Peace.